back to the project. It is time to welcome a funny man who's starring in a very, very funny new film. It's a well-known fact that on December 21st, 2012, the world didn't end, which upset a few but worked out well for the rest of us. It's the end of the world as we know it. But what if the rapture was not just imminent, but on the night of James Franco's star-studded house party? Uh, yeah! What would happen to all the celebrities? In a film that truly has to be seen to be believed, some of Hollywood's funniest and most successful young stars play themselves when the apocalypse strikes. What the f This Is The End was conceived by and stars funny man Seth Rogen, who began stand-up comedy as a teen and went on to roles in movies such as Knocked Up and Pineapple Express. And now he's fighting off demons... That's not good. That's not good. ..and fighting over Milky Ways... Oh, you can't have the Milky Way. I want someone the Milky Way. ..all the while still trying to have a cracker of a time. Please welcome Seth Rogen! Congratulations. <laughs> you guys are dressed so much nicer than when I was here last. Like, now I feel... Un it was casual last time, I feel like. We're, um, we're you all got very fancy the... suits since I was last year. <laughs> Did you know something about the, uh, the clip that we showed? About... I'm wearing the same shirt, basically. It's, very similar. it's a little embarrassing, I'll be totally honest. No, um, congratulations on the film. This is a seriously funny movie. Thank and you. It, but it is safe to say, no joke is off limits in this movie. No, not at all. How yeah. did you convince people to let you make this movie? Uh, it was a little difficult to get the money from the studio to make a crazy, you know, apocalyptic movie where a bunch of famous people play themselves. <laughs> that doesn't happen that often. <laughs> um, and uh, we honestly just, we made it for not that much money. That's the first way you approach doing it. Is, you had to wear your own shirt for a start. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I had to wear my own clothes. We encouraged that. Uh, and we honestly kind of lied to the studio and told them we would make a version where we could cut out the fact that we play ourselves if it's too weird, and we just didn't do that so at all. So <laughs> how did you get your friends to actually agree to play the way you saw them? Uh, they were actually eager to do it. I mean, honestly, it was amazing at how happy people were to play these terrible, warped, uh, at times depraved versions of themselves. Any rejections from any of them? No, not on ba based on content. Like, some people's, like, schedules didn't work out. But content-wise, people were willing to do anything. It is crazy <laughs> what people will do if you ask them. It's insane. And Actors will do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we have no shame. And, and, and the, it, it's all set at a party at James Franco house. How yeah. accurate a portrayal is this of a party at James Franco's house? I've never been to a party at James Franco's house, honestly. Uh, what's, what's the weirdest thing you, you've seen? I, I don't think James Franco has a house, honestly. <laughs> Was there a sense after this film you all started going, we should probably have more parties. Yeah, we should yeah. probably have more parties. It's true. It was a fun group of people. Uh, yeah, it, I've been to some parties like that over the years, I guess. I don't leave the house much these days. But now, uh, yeah, every once in a while you go to a party and there's a lot of random famous people there doing a lot of weird drugs sometimes. <laughs> and we tried to incorporate that into the film. <laughs> so yeah. James Franco was fabulous in the film. Yes, he is. Um, seriously, on a scale from 1 to 10... How good looking is James Franco? He's really good looking. And he's very, like, flirtatious in real life. Like, even with me, he's very, uh, he kind of locks in on you and he really, like, he gives you the eyes. Yeah, the Franco eyes. He's very handsome. He is. As my wife constantly reminds me. <laughs> he's now, a good looking guy. Yeah. Now, towards the end of last year, everyone around the world was talking about this mind prophecy that was going to end the world. It's true. How relieved were you, given the work you'd already put into the film, that the world did not end last year? I was pretty relieved. It would have been a great marketing thing, honestly. Like, for <laughs> the surviving members of humanity, our movie would have been the most relevant movie out there. So, so, so we'd go from just a ridiculous comedy to a really relatable rom-com. Exactly, rom super relatable movie. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I remember when that happened. Yeah, that was terrible, yeah. So, which one of you would be least likely to survive an apocalypse? Oh, man. Probably me, honestly. <laughs> I'm of a pretty soft disposition. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of amenities in life. Uh, no, I, I don't know. Jay requires a lot of calorie intake. That guy eats a lot of sugar in real life, so <laughs> he might dwindle pretty fast. Franco is of a hearty disposition. He's very fit. He'd last a long time. But I'd eat James Franco, right. so... <laughs> <laughs> you, you have your a lot of friends in, in the movie, as we yes. see, but also Rihanna is in the movie. Yeah. Uh, Are you implying we're not good friends? Well, uh... <laughs>
<laughs> I'm your good friends. How, 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 did, how did that happen? Uh, well, we wanted a mix of people you kind of associated us with and people that you, you were had that reaction to. Um, I literally one time read in like a magazine interview with Rihanna that Superbad and Pineapple Express were movies she likes. And as someone with a large ego, I remembered that. <laughs> and, uh, I'm like, oh, yeah, awesome. ka -ching. Got Rihanna. And then years later... We were putting the movie together, and I was like, oh, I once heard Rihanna likes our movies in a magazine article. Maybe she'll be in it. And she said yes. And, I, and I'm in that, and I like Harry Potter and Emma Watson. Uh, again, we just kind of wanted some people where you were like, why are they in this movie? And uh, Emma Watson ticked that box in a major way. Because, uh, yeah, when she comes on, everyone's like, why is she in this movie? And I think even her, to some degree, was like, why am I in this movie? Um, well, it's an, it's an awesome movie. Please. Did not stop laughing from start to finish. Thank you so uh, much. This is the end. Is in Cinemas July 18th here in Australia. Would you please thank Seth Rogen? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back in a tip. Don't go anywhere.